From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. The peak of hurricane season was officially on Sunday. At this point, we would expect the tropical activity to decrease a little bit as we go through the rest of the month. Keep in mind, hurricane season is a very long season. It goes all the way through, at least officially, through November 30th. We've had 14 storms, five hurricanes, three major hurricanes. On average, through today, we would expect eight named storms, three hurricanes, and one major hurricane. Here are all the tracks for the 2023 season so far, and you will notice, at least from that map, it has been pretty busy. This is Hurricane Lee, has weakened a little bit, continuing to make its way towards the north. Eventually, it's going to turn more towards the north and east, and will eventually lose its tropical characteristics. Here's a tropical forecast, the American and the European model showing pretty good agreement as Lee or whatever's left with Lee making landfall, it looks like over the weekend. Hurricane force wind chances, pretty small as we get into the weekend, but tropical storm force wind chances pretty high. You'll notice all the way up into parts of Canada as Lee continues to move in that direction. Do have storm surge watching effect for parts of Massachusetts. So interesting weather right now. Also some tropical storm watches and a hurricane watching effect for parts of the north east of the United States. So kind of crazy to see tropical type warnings and watches that far north. For us here across South Carolina, the main impact, and it's really indirect, rip current risk. Very high chance for uh, rip current risk here along the coastal region of South Carolina, and that's going to be through the weekend. So if you're heading to the beach, you do want to heed the advice of the local beach patrol with these possibly life-threatening rip currents. We're also watching this area in the Atlantic. High chance for this to develop over the next seven days. Already do have some spaghetti models associated with that particular area of thunderstorms. Notice it's going to continue to move generally towards the north, northwest. And we'll say about over the next seven to ten days or so. Here are all the named storms so far. Margo is still out there, but it's going to kind of meander in the middle of the Atlantic. It isn't going to impact anyone directly. And there are the rest of the names for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season.